the semi two weeks ago, they finished minor premiers on top of the ladder. And Footscray finished on uh, third place on the ladder, beaten in the second semi-final, but last week they won the preliminary final and kicked 33 goals against Fitzroy. Plenty of senior players coming back into the ranks in the reserves for Footscray, and so this won't be a one-sided game unless actually Footscray make it a one-sided game and uh, turn the tables on North Melbourne. Well, it's grey and overcast in Melbourne today for grand final day, but with more detail on the weather, here's Seven Nightly News' weatherman, David Brown. Thanks very much, Drew. Well, yes, the crowd is building. It's going to be a fantastic day today, uh, but uh, unfortunately that cloud is also thickening up as well. We can take a look at that uh, now from the weather satellite. We zoom in, we can have a look uh, from the latest sequence. Uh, there it goes now, that cloud which has been building over the Great Australian Bight has now made its way into Western Victoria. Now, there has been a little bit of light rain near Ballarat, but uh, most of it is still back near the western border. Now, uh, we'll find uh, during the day, uh, Drew, the wind will start to freshen up, so there might be just a one or two goal advantage at the southern end of the MCG, probably during the second half of the game. And as far as the weather goes, well, look, I think it'll be fine for most of it. There may be just one or two drops of rain, but hardly any at all. The top temperature up around 19 degrees. Currently, it's 13 degrees. Thank you, David. And if there are drops of rain, stay out of it and stay dry. Well, joining me in commentary today for the VSFL Grand Final, three times Carlton Premiership player Ian Robertson and Brownlow medalist Ross Glendinning. Good morning, boys. Good on you, Drew. And uh, I think uh, we're looking forward here to a terrific game of football again between Footscray Reserves and North Melbourne Reserves. Ross... Uh, the Bulldogs, well, they've got a few players with senior experience have come back into this team. Yes, good morning, Robbo and Drew, to you too. And, uh, yes, North Melbourne very keen to atone for last year as well. Robbo, uh, John Law, knowing the side might be up against it because of that fact, they lost a couple of the senior players, players like Ramiro, Roberts, Adrian McCadden, David King, those sorts of players who have played reserves this year and have been good contributors, ineligible today. So, puts great perhaps on paper with the upper hand. Well, North Melbourne's team, of course, uh, we've got some good players there in it that uh, have represented North in the seniors in young John Barnett, number 17. Jason Danilchenko, number 25, has been a uh, certainly a North Melbourne seniors player. Anthony Dwyer, Peter German, Warren Campbell, and the player that I'm looking forward to having a really good look at in these conditions, Ross, is Matthew Capuano, because uh, certainly North Melbourne, a youngster of his potential, he will uh, form a big backbone to their future. Yes, he's played three senior games, Robbo, and uh, North, I know, are looking forward to him taking over a uh, senior role as a big fellow, although I suppose against him, Robbo, a little bit is a fact like uh, McKernan and a few others are in front of him. But the Footscray side looks very impressive. It's the likes of uh, Nigel Kellett, Rowan Smith, Nicholson, Corcoran, Luke Beveridge, Simon Atkins, Del Rey, McPherson, West, Darcy Hargraves, who was outstanding uh, last week, of course, uh, kicking a bag from centre-half forward. And uh, Del Rey, of course, kicking nine at full forward. And they've got a very, very experienced side, but that doesn't always count in these situations. I think uh, North Enthusiasm should make a terrific contest, Robert. And uh, isn't it interesting when you have a look at number 38 for Footscray, see that, sir, and number 51, Zwanamir Suto, very good. who uh, apparently has come from St Albans and uh, has played in all of Footscray's three finals matches. But uh, it's great to see a cross-section of, uh, of our community, uh, the ethnic background out there in Footscray, producing some, uh, some bright prospects for the Bulldogs. Yes, and there's uh, the fellow in the tracksuit there, Timmy Harrington, former North Melbourne uh, and Footscray player, played at Collingwood as well. He's been involved there with the phys ed side, I think, so with Footscray. So. And Robbie West, of course, playing in this game uh, for Footscray, formerly from the West Coast. So we've mentioned a few times plenty of experience and having plenty to say there Andrew Nickel number 50 in the Footscray squad probably start in the ruck but uh, they've got a bit of size so they can uh, work a bit of a switch there Footscray now what about a selection uh, it's pretty hard to draw a line through the finals when you have uh, well North winning the second semi uh, pretty comfortably they won by uh, 57 points but Footscray is a different looking lineup now well, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a very good contest. I believe that North Melbourne have got everything to gain, not much to lose. Footscray are certainly short price favourite because of the fact that they've got these senior players that have come back. But uh, I'll go for a bit of a roughy and tip North through. Well, North lost the uh, reserves grand final last year, so that might be a spur to them. Yes, and the other thing too, Drew, just doesn't matter what uh, grade of football you're playing, if you've had a bit of a breather coming into a grand final, I think that really does 
assist you, particularly when conditions uh, through the year have been pretty good. And it's been a pretty tough style of football right through the gates, grades we've seen with the under 18 so far. That was a great contest. So I think North perhaps just uh, might have the upper hand, Drew. Number 40 there in the picture is uh, Luke Darcy, the son of uh, David Darcy, who played uh, quite a bit of football with the Bulldogs. As you can see there, Brett Hart, number 45, obviously picking up Simon Atkins. So we get underway for the VSFL Grand Final for 1994. Footscray against North Melbourne. They go up in the middle and uh, Gareth John gets the first tap. It doesn't go his way. There's Robbie West maybe getting a high tackle, but the umpire doesn't agree. He's going to come in and ball it up. I thought it might have been a good way for the umpire to get the game started. to give a free kick there and open it out. It was, I would have thought there was one there for the high tackle. Robbie West, originally from Wodonga, went over to the Eagles. Now back at Footscray. A lot of players around this now. John beaten in the ruck. Big hit out there by Luke Darcy, who starred in the ruck last week. Clearing for North is Brad Scholl. Up towards centre half forward. And the defensive mark was taken by Andrew Nichol. Looks Gray go in towards the centre of the ground here at the uh, MCG. And a good mark taken for North Melbourne there by Anthony Dwyer. And of course that, uh, that family name, synonymous really with North Melbourne. Father Laurie, brother David, played senior football with North Melbourne. Trying to get clear there was Rowan Smith for Footscray. This is Barnett, can't control the football, so we'll have a boundary throw in. 50 metres from the North Melbourne goal, in absolutely perfect conditions for a game of Australian rules football prevailing here at the MCG. The redhead picking up Barnett is Trent Churchill. Number nine for the Bulldogs is Dickelson. The ball spills in towards centre half forward for North Melbourne. Capuano is number 40. Away goes Callum for Footscray. Daniel Chinko. Now Capuano again. Leaves it for Daniel Chinko. His favourite left foot. Kicks to the front of the square. Marking contest. Beveridge is into it. Footscray try to get it clear. Corcoran and Beveridge combine. Beveridge gets past. Then gets the handball. This is Corcoran for the Bulldogs at right half back. He's forced to kick quickly. The ball slews off the side of his boot. It's out. Just touched, maybe, before it went over there. Number 36 for the Bulldogs, Tyson Lane. Rough, tough-looking customer. And I'm sure we'll see plenty of action between these two teams this afternoon. Chance there for John. Darcy for Footscray. Kicks quickly to centre-half forward. Chance now for the Bulldogs. This is Scott Allen. He's scragged to the ground. North Melbourne will repel. It's Geister in towards the centre. Kellett was hard at the football, but it's shoal down for North Melbourne. Gets away from the centre of the ground. He kicks towards full forward. Nearly a North Melbourne mark. The ball spills to the back. This is Polak. Gets it back. Kick for goal is by Dwyer. Oh, and nearly bounced through for a, a goal, but it's been forced over for one behind. So the first score of the game, kicked kick by Anthony Dwyer, is one behind for North Melbourne. So the ball coming back into play towards the outer side and the mark taken over there by Nickel from the Northern Knights. Kick by Nickel towards the centre of the ground. Awkward half volley. Well done by Hargraves. Off to the speedy Kellett. Good hand pass up to the 50. Clean balls west. Chance here for the Bulldogs. Allen gets the hand pass away. Well fumble there by Darcy. 45, 40 metres from goal. North clear the ball. The hand pass from Lane. Up the ground at John. His kick to half forward. Here's a player 15 metres on his own and uh, taking the mark. Matthew Capuano. Landing about 35 metres from goal. Reaches the back of the pack. Awful looking clearing kick. He'll get a second go at it. So that sir. Snap goal there by Lockhead. Just off line. Good effort, Drew. He didn't have uh, much room to move there. In fact, the smother may have come from Bushgrave, but uh, left foot snap there by Lockhead. He's played a total of uh, 37 reserves games, 20 this year. This is his 21st. The kick in is very, very good. It finds Sir at right half back. His kick, slightly inaccurate, which gave the North Melbourne player the chance to come in and uh, intervene. And he forces it over. That player being the uh, youngster, Mark Stevens. And the ball will be thrown in on centre wing. Good body right. work there by Rowan Smith too to assist his teammate with some good shepherding. 
right near the players interchange area on the member side of the uh, Melbourne cricket ground North Melbourne get it down it's Polak his kick is taken by Dwyer maybe a little uh, fortunate there Anthony Dwyer kick towards full forward a clearing effort now coming from uh, the Footscray player in Nicholson his high kick in towards centre half forward gathered beautifully Allen little kick it's going to land now with West left foot snapped for goal by West he's hooked it too far and through for Footscray's first score which is a behind kick by Robbie West good effort there by Footscray to clear that ball away from the full back area and Robert West also had Danny Delray clear on his uh, left hand side but didn't see him in time Melbourne working the ball in short Rebner into the centre square hand pass delayed out towards centre wing up towards half forward oh hold that top mark a long way out 60 metres out from goal crowded full forward area punch to the front chance for north here though a snap goal by Lockhead and the first goal of the game This is Mobile's biggest giveaway ever. Mobile Millions is over two and a half million prizes. Just scratch and win instantly. There are 16 brand new Ford Falcon GLIs to be won. Over a million dollars worth of free fuel. Plus more than two million constellation prizes. You've never seen anything like it. It all adds up to a winner about every two seconds, night and day, with Mobile Millions. Well, already a free kick has been picked out. It looks as though it's going to North Melbourne. The third umpire at the right end of the screen saw an infringement at centre-half forward against a Footscray player. So the free kick for North Melbourne in the centre of the ground. The kick goes towards half-forward. It's punched away. Gather is by Callum. Tackle is fantastic. Affected there by David Muir. The ball spills and it goes out towards the wing. And the mark is taken out there for Footscray by Corcoran. His kick in towards the centre of the ground. Knocked away by Geister. The ball spills again. A real struggle for possession. It's Campbell. The kick goes back towards the centre. Awkward bounce. Gathered by Danilchenko. His left foot kicked towards full forward. Nearly the mark taken. Back there by Lockheed. An indiscreet kick from uh, the Footscray player. And then kicking it out on the full was Nicholson. So North Melbourne will take the free kick. And Ross, you would have to think that this fellow has got a chance to kick a goal here. Yes, well, uh, Nicholson was looking to just run that ball along the boundary line and just uh, had the ball elevated too high and it goes out of bounds on the foot. So Lockhead. Troy Polak with the football. Polak, I beg your pardon. And uh, shot for goal is pretty good. It's touched right on the line and through for one behind. So North Melbourne with most of the play so far in the first term and they lead 1-3 to one behind. Keller, up early, didn't even touch the ball. Here's Steve McPherson. Back to Keller. On the defensive 50, up towards the centre of the ground, Darcy. Good it was kick. a well-delivered kick, wasn't it? Steve McPherson wearing one glove on the left hand. He actually moved. Saw him do that last week in the preliminary final. It is an interesting one. Kick by Darcy up to the 50. Danny Delray. Well, welcome back to the forward line, Danny Delray. He's played most of the season in defence, but went up forward last week and joined in the picnic in that 123-point victory over Fitzroy and kick nine. Yes, he got away too easily from uh, Grant de Mamuel there. And still, he's a very experienced player. Danny Delray, 52 metres from goal. Not quite. West kicks mother. Another chance for the Bulldogs. Good defence by Scholl, back to John. Here's clearing kick. Danilchenko, not quite, but played it well. Good control. Peter German in support. He said he's oh, right at the umpire. Oh, he made all the running for the footy. He did very well and gets penalised. Amazing stuff, but uh, if it's there, the umpire's got to pay it. Now it's Callum for Footscray. 50 metres from goal, but good pressure applied by North Melbourne. And it's uh, a kick forced over. And that player was Peter German who applied that pressure. And that's what footy's all about. The, uh, every player on the ground has just got to keep on having a go. There's Peter German in the picture. Gareth John gets his left hand to it. Ball spills back for Kellett. Showing tremendous courage at the bottom of that there. 
is Brad Scholl. And he locks it up for North Melbourne, about uh, 45 metres from the Footscray goal. One thing, North have made a good start for Coach John Law. Last, last year in the grand final against Melbourne, they were flogged early and nev never could recover. Yes, he certainly made those comments uh, through the week, Drew. That was something that he was very weary of and wanted to impress on his players not to allow that to happen today. Ordinary bounce by the umpire, grabbed by Atkins, snapped back towards goal, and it threw for it behind. Interesting to see how some of these senior players adjust to the reserve style of football because it's certainly the different style. That's where it's so important that you have coaches in the seniors and the reserves have the same method of play, the same idea on how to play the game. So you get that continuity through the ones and the twos. Rodney Ede on the left there in the North Melbourne box coached the Brisbane Bears to a reserve premiership a few years ago. North Melbourne bring the ball in, and Dwyer takes the mark at left half back flank. There's poor defence by the Footscray Fours not to punch that ball away. And a good chain of hand passing come through, and North on the run. Through Harton it went, up at centre wing, Danilchenko. Now moving up towards half forward. Scholl, his brother, plays in the seniors as in, and has played state football for Victoria. They've lost at North, and Nicholson clears for Footscray. A high one to centre wing, Dwyer, chest mark. Yeah, both Dwyer and also uh, Scholl through the effective so far for North Melbourne. And Gene Anthony Dwyer made that look quite simple in the finish, but the uh, determination was good there. And a safe chest mark on centre wing. A very, very ordinary kick. Slews off the side of his boot and is over for a boundary throw in. Ross players finding it a little bit difficult to keep their footing with uh, kicking and just running at the ball. Yes, yeah, so although ground conditions really, Robbo, as uh, Matty Camp has reported uh, so far today, is still pretty good, so there should be no excuses unless their footwear isn't the correct style. Nickel is the footscray player, diving on the football 50 metres from the North Melbourne goal, and he locks it in. So the umpire will be forced to bounce. 1-3, North Melbourne, two behind the Bulldogs. Trent Churchill from the uh, Gippsland under 18. Nicknamed Bluey, wonder why. <laughs> Fair enough. Atkins dispossessed, number 45, Brett Harton in there. Now Johnson, who played very well for the Footscray Seniors in the latter part of uh, season 94. Brad Johnson. And his kick goes over for a, another boundary throw, and it's between wing and left half forward, slightly favouring North Melbourne. We're going to have an absolutely perfect day for footy here at the MCG. Shoal. The tap down was from uh, Gareth John. The kick towards centre-half forward. The ball spills to the back. Rowan Smith it is to tidy up for the Bulldogs. He gets it to Corcoran. Corcoran, he's got a paddock in front of himself. Bounces twice, then steady. Kicks in towards full forward. A beautiful kick to the advantage of Danny Delray. And he doesn't let his teammate down. He's marked in the forward pocket about 35 metres from the Footscray goal. Yes, and all their experienced players touching the footy there too, Robbo. And Del Rey again just leading away from Demamuel, but this time he's forced himself into the pocket. Well, Danny Del Rey has uh, kicked plenty of goals, both in reserves and senior football for Footscray. He shot for goal. Gee, it looks pretty good. No, it must have just missed off to the left-hand side and through for his first score. And Footscray's third behind as we have a look at the... Uh, coaches box there and well, some interested onlookers in the Footscray coaches box so Looks a couple of ladies, they might have won some raffle prizes maybe drew auction prizes yeah. no sign of Terry Wallace is the man in charge Stuart Anderson for North Melbourne clears the 50 easily big pack flies but no mark Kellett at the back gets the hand pass up Johnson Delray flies with a teammate. It comes to ground. Allen gets it going goalwards. But here's Anderson once more for North. Danilchenko, been prominent early. He's kicked to the centre of the ground. Churchill front of the pack, no mark. Polak spun through without it. Corcoran onto the chest of teammate. Smith, 51 metres out. And Footscray cannot buy a goal. That's their fourth behind. It's getting caught out there, the North defence, so when that ball was kicked long by Danilchenko and then the, uh, the spoil was affected by the Footscray half-backs and then the, the forwards there, Footscray just uh, loose because the North backs had attacked and didn't get a chance to get back quickly enough. Kick in marked by Scholl, hand pass back to Anderson. Anderson goes through centre half-back, kicks out towards the wing. The punch away will favour Danilchenko, forced to kick with his right foot, gets reasonable ground. 
close to the boundary line it'll go over in front of well Daniel Chenko nearly did a Wayne Harms then Would have been a big hit. after his, uh, his original kick there's Alan Joyce the senior coach at Footscray this year started in round three Terry Wheeler replaced after two rounds here's Luke Beveridge a little hand pass around the corner Kellett under pressure North applying good pressure in fact good start for both sides uh, they're working each other out and we've had just one goal in 15 minutes of football yes of course what will bring uh, to bear in this game of the senior players that are clever today is the fact there will be some pressure on because they are used to that sort of pressure at senior level so it could be scrappy free kick taken by Darcy 21 for North Melbourne is Muir can't keep the ball in ex Claremont David Muir 31 goals for the year so he's playing a long way away from the goal square today it's also was on the Eagles list too Drew but uh, couldn't cut it there boundary throw in in the forward half for Footscray ball spills now for North Melbourne to move it in towards the centre ball handling not too bad the ball spills back for Anderson Anderson's left foot kick towards centre half forward the high flyer great mark one of the most promising young players in the North Melbourne uh, list of uh, 42 is Matthew Capuano. He's kicking towards full forward, chipping in and taking the mark was Dwyer. I get the feeling that the kick may have been meant for Lockheed. I think you're right there, Robert, but uh, again, the experience of Dwyer just chipping in. Well, it'd have to be a chance to kick a goal, Anthony Dwyer. Very accomplished footballer and kicking from 40 metres. He kicks for goal, and the breeze just uh, floating away to the right, and Footscray defenders hurrying it through for a rush behind to North Melbourne. So the Kangaroos lead by six points. They're 1-4. Footscray are four behind. The only goal kicker on the ground so far, Greg Lockheed. It's a windy day scoreline, isn't it? Here's John from half-forward flank. Centering kick. Push out. Looks great free kick. And that's taken there quickly by Nicholson. And it goes to Sir. He's played 23 reserves games this year. Luke Beveridge, former Melbourne seniors player. And plenty of seniors experience this year for Footscray. Looking forward to seeing Luke Darcy today. Long kick. Oh, here he is again, Danny Delray. Now, surely this time, Delray will kick a goal. Yes, good position there by uh, Darcy through the middle of the ground. It's a terrific kick for Beveridge to find him. And then Darcy's kick was equally effective to find the big fella Del Rey. He was the leading goal kicker in the seniors, twice for Footscray. Played just three senior games this year. And eventually Footscray on the board with a goal. I was drunk. I was I was drunk. At McDonald's, the reason why our shakes are so good is because we use real milk. So Denny Del Rey has run half the length of the ground to congratulate Luke Darcy, that brilliant kick to uh, give Delray the chance to get the Bulldogs first goal. Footscray force it forward, advantage is paid, it's with Allen tackled, but uh, ball spills to his advantage, Allen from the right forward pocket, a kick to the front of the square at the back, is that mark being paid? No. Away goes Anderson, Anderson's kick is not too bad it sits up beautifully there for Peter German at right half back, the kick in towards the centre of the ground the mark is taken for North Melbourne by Campbell. Campbell's kick. Centre half forward. The high flies, but it's brilliantly taken off the pack by Barnett. Barnett, no one home in the goal square. And Barnett has kicked the goal for North Melbourne. Brilliant roving at centre half forward by John Barnett. Results in North Melbourne's second goal. And the Kangaroos lead again by six points. And again, just illustrating the most effective way to get home. Come with the ball cleanly. German's chip kick to the middle was very good and they just cleared the ball down beautifully and as Robbo said this roving by Barnett was terrific almost like Jimmy Cracker just crisply took the ball, kept his footing, steadied and an opportunist goal 
So that's what he's done all year. He's kicked 54 goals, roving packs just like that. Well, we remember John Barnett as captain of the uh, Teal Cup uh, Premiership winning team a couple of years ago out at Waverley. Polak, Dwyer, back to Polak. Polak from 50 metres. Goes long. It'll land just to the right of the square. Away goes Footscray. This is Churchill. His kick goes short. Fifth it is. He may get run down. And good chasing, but the ball spills. Opportunity now for Darcy. This is uh, Anthony Darcy. Two Darcy boys playing for the Bulldogs. The other one, Luke. Now, Footscray get clear through Allen. Allen is at right half forward. He's kicking towards the centre half forward position. It breaks down. Too slow for North Melbourne with Gosta. Now, Beveridge. The little kick into the pocket. To the advantage of West. No, it bounces just a little too far for that player. And strong at the football was Mark Brepner. But North Melbourne, he'll take the free kick. He goes in short. North Melbourne will clear. It's Anderson receiving the hand pass. He kicks long towards half forward. The ball spills to the back. Darcy, no, it's Polak again for North Melbourne. Kick off the left by Polak. Ball slips through the hands of John. There was a push here. And it's going to be a free kick for Gray's way. Taken by Sadat Sir. Out of the back pocket. Just under five minutes to quarter time. Comes off the hands to Scholl. And he has, has to dive in after it. Good persistence there by Harton. And eventually the umpire to ball it up. And the two North players are scoring themselves there in the uh, marking contest. Polak and Capuano. Brad Nicholson there, number nine, who's played eight seniors games this year, including a final. Two forties go at it. Here's Anthony Darcy, flips the ball up in the air. Harton is buried by McPherson, play on. And once again, the umpire will ball it up. Umpires in charge, Martin Ellis, Dean Goodrich, and Michael Sexton. Speaking of Fred Harton too, uh, Drew, so far he's done a terrific job on Simon Atkins, just allowing the uh, senior player the one kick. Steve McPherson, using his rather intimidating tactics there. He's done it a few times so far. Look, <laughs> Melbourne <laughs> opponent. I'm in charge of this game, says Steve. Anthony Darcy gets it to Steve McPherson. Hand pass over the top. Too far for Atkins. A contest. This is Campbell for North Melbourne. Gets around under the left foot. Does well, does Warren Campbell. Then kicks towards the 50 metre line. No mark, but the ball spills for German. He can't quite get the hand pass away effectively. Now it comes back to Scholl. Scholl off the right foot, kicks to the front of the square. Big high flyer with Polak. A struggle for possession for the North Melbourne Footscray defenders. And the ball eventually will become the central umpire there. And one of the Footscray boys in trouble, Robbo, with Polak flying that mark. I think he may have got a knee accidentally, of course, into the uh, rib cage or stomach area of the Footscray boy. I can't pick him up at the moment. Bad luck for the Bulldogs, but uh, right where the umpire's going to ball it up, so there'll be a hold up here. Yeah. Doctor on his way out. Footscray making a change. Coming off as Anthony Darcy and about to take his place for Footscray's Paul Wheeler. Yes, it was to that too, Robbo, as you pointed out there uh, to me. So he looks all right, may have just been winded chance to gather his breath. So a chance for North Melbourne here. A ball up about 20 metres out from goal. John gets it down. German kicks the goal. Superwoman fixing her own storm damage these days. You could say that. Really? Worried? Actually, the insurance company got the emergency services out in the middle of the night. I even organised a roofing contractor. How about that cost a bomb? No, it's free with my house and contents insurance. Aussie Home Assist, they call it. What sort of insurance company does that? Mum, it's the RACV on the phone. They want to know if everything's OK. RACV insurance. It's not just another insurance company. What are you going to do now? Switch. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. A 12 point lead to North Melbourne in the reserves grand final. Darcy beaten in the middle by Capuano. Oh, a high tackle there and a free kick will be taken by Kelly. That Corcoran it is, up centre half forward. Hargraves, play on, he kicked 11 last week. Crowd not happy with that. 
It comes North Melbourne's way, kicked by Harting, up short of half forward. Nickel leaves it this time for Smith. Good hand pass over the top. Smith gets it back in the old one, two. Rowan Smith approaches the 50, goes long with his kick. It's a chance. What a goal. Well, that's a real team lifter for the Bulldogs. Well done, Rowan Smith. Just prepared to run and use his pace to advantage. He's got the ball out of the congestion with a good little handball. As Drew said, the one, two. Here we go. Gets it back again. Well run. Got a shepherd. Atkins a little late to provide it, but in the end realised. And just from outside 50, terrific kick. Great effort there by Rowan Smith. The ball bounced back in the centre. Really to the advantage of North Melbourne. They get it clear. It's Barnett. The quick kick towards centre half forward. Keeping his footing very efficiently is Barnett. The kick towards full forward. So that Sir takes the mark at the rear of Lockhead. Sir kicks wide. Corcoran for Footscray at left half back. Kicks quickly to the wing. Callis made good position. He gathers. May get run down, but he's able to get his left foot to it. Kicks towards half forward. No mark taken by Muir, but he's quick to recover. The ball's still now the combination of big finishes with McPherson. McPherson from 49 metres. He makes no mistake and the Bulldogs get their third. All square, Robbo, which just shows you you can't drop your head in any game of football. Footscray just got these last two goals very quickly and got them very effectively with players of three. McPherson, the player on this occasion, just summed the situation up very well and so he should with a player of 180 games, seniors experience and finished off as you'd expect from a quality play like that. Well, I just got the feeling that Luke Darcy might have been in that combination as well, getting the hand pass to Steve McPherson. I saw a bit of Luke Darcy, and there he is again in the middle. I saw a bit of him last week in the preliminary final, and looks a champion in the making. Down to McPherson again, off the side of the boot. West! Great pass! We had to sit all the time, didn't he, Drew? Ball just going to carry over the top. Doesn't mind having a fly, Robbie Wesley, but short pass to McPherson and the umpire says come back and kick over the mark. Scores all tied up with a minute 20 to go to quarter time. And now Robbie West going for goal. Only 20 metres out. Good kick. Oh, it's a beauty. <laughs> Foot trade kick three in three minutes. Yes, well, Stuart Anderson, the player who uh, West took the mark over, just uh, couldn't do a lot about that. He had to stand his ground. West uh, went back to see the, uh, the effort out of the centre. McPherson featuring him. It was a good tap by Luke Darcy to get that ball to McPherson. And good penetrating kick. Anderson there just caught underneath the ball and West a good fly. A terrific kick. Back to himself. Now, Robbo, Luke Darcy, the son of Dave Darcy, a fifth grade champion in the past. So uh, he's certainly got the gene. Looks a good play. My word, yes. And uh, David Darcy, I'm sure, represented Victoria at some stage too. North Melbourne try to clear the ball away from the set of congestion, but it just rebounds. This is Campbell. Campbell's kick goes towards half forward. A little bit too high there for Capuano. Through there strongly with Nicholson. Free kick for holding on to advantage, Robert. Maybe the advantage oh, made. Yep. So yep. Yes. Finishes with Beveridge. The kick by Beveridge is good. Mark taken by Kellett. Gets it away here to Tyson Lane. Lane approaches 50 metres and waits the kick. But getting back for North Melbourne and taking a safe mark in the goal square is Simpson. So certainly the uh, experience advantages with Footscray in this match. North Melbourne doing pretty well. This is one of their more experienced campaigners. Peter German away to Campbell. Campbell forced to go out of the left, then gets back onto the right foot. Kicks high in towards full forward. We're into the last 10 seconds. So important that a mark is taken. No, the ball spills back. Polak, but it's Atkins for Footscray. Gets the hand pass to Johnson. Johnson gets the kick away. And the siren sounds for quarter time here in the BSFL Grand Final. North Footscray lead by six points there. 4-4, four, four, North Melbourne at 3-4. Who'll be king of the mountain in 94? Bathurst, only on seven, tomorrow from eight.